What's going on with TJ Ties? We back for your weekly motivation. You got the strength to build on the inside. All we got to do is get it out, baby. I'm pumped. I'm excited. It's Wednesday, and I want you to get over the hump. But here's the key. Here's the principle right here. Listen, if there's no separation, there's no separation. That's right. I'm going to say it again. If there's no separation, there's no separation. You can't do what everybody else is doing, then expect to one day be able to do what everybody else can't do. It can't do it. It cannot happen. I don't care how much you say you hustling, how much you say you grinding, how much you say you want it, how much you pray about it. If you continue to do what everybody else is doing, you can't wake up one day and be able to do what everybody else can't do. It cannot happen. You have to separate. What does that mean? Listen, when I play ball, I was always the strongest guy on the football field. So when I wrestled, I was always the strongest. I wasn't the strongest because I, because I dreamed about it. I wasn't strongest because I thought about it. I was the strongest because when I was working out when they were playing, I was pushing, doing pushes over and over and over again, pushing my body up day in and day out. I was putting in the work, 100 pushes, 200, 500, 1,000 a day. I was putting in the effort. I was doing what they wouldn't do so that eventually I could do what they couldn't do. So you have to separate in order to separate. So listen real quick. My mother had a 60th birthday party. We all went to Cracker Barrel. We walk in and we said we got 40 people in our, in our, you know, in, in, our, in, our, in our congregation, what have you. And we walked in, they sat us down. I was sitting there and the lady was taking the oil. I looked at her apron. It said four stars. I said, ma'am, excuse me, can you come here for a second? She said, sure, sir. What's the problem? I said, no problem at all. I said, I said, you got four stars. How did you get four stars? She said, she smiled. She said, well, you know, it's best upon our service, how well we do. And we take a test every so often so that we can graduate to a sec two stars, three stars, and eventually four. I said, what's the highest? She said, four stars is the highest. I said, so that means you're the best. She smiled. She said, yeah, I'm the best. And she chuckled. Listen, listen, four stars. Let me ask you a quick question. If you woke up in the morning and you walked outside your house and you can see two stars on your shirt, three stars on your shirt above your head, and every, when you walked into work, when you walked into school, when you walked into your environment, if you are on a daily basis, people can look at you without you even opening your mouth and they can know what level star you were. Would that change your effort? Would that change your focus? Would that change the way you execute? If people knew right on the outside that you're only a two star, you're only a, listen, you got, you got a four star mouth, but you got a two star effort. You got a four star mouth, but you have a, you have a three star execution. You want to get to the point where you execute at four stars. Not this, not this, but execution. Doing what you say you're going to do when, you're say, when you say you're going to do it. Every single time, consistency, that's how you elevate. If there's no separation, there's no elevation. So you have to say, what am I going to do to separate myself from everybody else? Because if I want to be better, if I want to be greater, I have to separate. And sometimes it's going to hurt you, and it might hurt that person. But that's what it takes to go to the next level. And you should, because you have the strength to be on the inside. All we got to do is get it out.